Hi, Sheiksters. Hi. Wow, why did I just sound so like I'm from the South? <laughs> Sheiksters, hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi again from Supple Chic, and today's video is going to be a fall haul video. I know you guys love hauls, so I brought you guys another haul, because I've been picking up a few things for fall. If you love hauls and you want me to continue to do hauls, make sure to hit that subscribe, not subscribe button, make sure to hit that like button down below. Okay. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi and this is my channel. Our goal here at Supple Chic is to help you style your life better. So please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you are subscribed, <laughs> welcome back. Y'all, I'm cracking myself up because it's like almost midnight, okay? I feel bad for my neighbors, but you know what? If you don't like thin walls, then don't live in a condo. Um, but anyways, I am here to try to make this video for you guys. So let me be quiet and get through it. All right, all right, all right. So I'm excited, guys. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen one or two of these items styled. If not, if you are here to see what I picked up for fall, then keep on watching so this is not my first fall haul honestly um I, I was gonna say like i'm not buying a lot this fall like i'm pretty chill but then i saw everything on the floor and i'm like mm, are you not buying a lot you sure now a few of these items were sent to me i'm lucky to have some wonderful partners and friends that love sending me items so of course i will indicate which items were sent to me but if i if i if i you know, if, I, if I'm if i showing it to you guys here, it's because I love it, I've probably worn it, and I think you will love it too. So let's get into it. The first item I want to show you guys is one of something I would call more of a transitional piece. When I saw this dress on the website, the colors just really caught my eye and I just kept on thinking about it and going back to it. I was picking pieces from Eloquy for Fashion Week. They were kind enough to let me pick out some pieces and I wasn't sure I was going to wear this per se to Fashion Week but I knew I was going to wear it so I picked it up anyway um, and it is this gorgeous floral shift dress. I cannot tell you for years, when I say years, I mean years, I was obsessed with this style of dress, but I could never find it in plus. Like I could never find it big enough to fit my hips. That is why I stand for brands like Eloqui and for brands like ASOS Curve because they just fill the gap. Like, you know that pink Zara suit that I was drooling over that every single blogger had during the summer that was like, when will somebody make it in plus size? When will this suit come in my size? Guess who got it now? Guess who got it now? Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. But anyways, I saw this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I love the colors. It has some blues in it, some greens, some black and whites, which let me know that I could pair this with like a black biker jacket. Um, I styled this with a denim jacket, a black, um, a black uh, Baker Boy hat and some white boots, but it just let me know that it would work seamlessly and beautifully with, you know, with what I have in my wardrobe and that it would be perfect for fall. Oh, it would be the perfect transitional piece. Right now it's October the something and it's currently like 80 degrees. It's going to be like 90, well, actually it was 90 degrees today and tomorrow's going to be like 80 something. So I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I don't think the weather has gotten the fall memo in our in our side of the world, okay? But the point is, it's perfect to transition, and in the winter, of course, you can throw on tights, you can throw on over-the-knee boot, and it's just a gorgeous piece. So it features um, cuff sleeves, kind of like athletic-style sleeves. It also has this little detail in the back where it's like lower and then it has a little bar and it's just a pullover dress. One of those dresses that you just throw on when you gotta get, you wanna be cute and gotta get out the door. I just stand, I love dresses like this. So that's what. And of course, everything I mentioned in this video will be in the description bar if it's still available down below. 
So the next item is a plaid blazer. Okay, plaid blazers must have. I actually did a whole video on my must buys for fall. Don't know if that's up yet, but if it is, I will link it. And this was the top of the list. I actually bought three plaid blazers and I had everybody weigh in on Instagram as to which one I should keep and this one based on the feedback I got got the most feedback I guess. <laughs> Um, so this one is from Nine West and I picked this up from Macy's. I think it was about 70 something dollars. It is that whole heritage. I never know if this is check, plaid, just old men fabric. That's what this fabric is, okay? But what makes this one cool is that it has this burgundy, not burgundy, purple running through it. And I like this one because the white strips are very graphic so you can see the print from far. I think that's really cool. This one also happens to be double breasted, which adds more of that whole menswear feel to the look. It actually has matching pants too, but I, I, I didn't need that, so I didn't purchase it. But I just love the idea of this. I'm thinking of buying some high-waisted, wide leg, like purple, pants to go with this. I have a lilac colored sweater that I picked up in the fall that I will also plan on layering with this as well. And I'm wearing this in a 16W and I typically have a hard time finding blazers that fit my arm but I think because I bought this in W they fit perfectly perfectly um so if you're interested in these of course it will be linked down below and I said out of the three that I picked up this one was the cheapest because it was like a 70 something dollars the other two were from Calvin Klein and they were like 80 something dollars again I've seen plaid blazers at Walmart Target I'm pretty sure you can find it at the thrift store so I will link some um more affordable alternatives as well in the description bar below so continuing on with that green color because apparently I was obsessed with it earlier this month. Um, I also picked up this green skirt um, from, it's like a pleated, it looks like a pleated faux leather skirt. One thing I love about Eloquii is that they really do their faux leather really well. Like their faux leather does not look cheap, it does not look plasticky, it's not flimsy. They do their faux leather really well. Um, so it's a faux leather skirt. It also comes in black, I believe, but I opted for the green color. It's a midi length. Um, I got this in a 16, but I'm going to ask them to exchange it for an 18. Some of the features that I like on it, although as you guys can see, it has like a flat front. On the inside, it has built-in elastic. It also has a zipper closure, and then this fabric also has some give to it as well. Just a gorgeous and well made skirt. The next item I have not worn yet and it is this pink kimono from ASOS. This was also an item that was sent to me for fashion week and as you guys can see it has like such intricate embroidery going all the way down and then it has the little tassels now when i saw it on the website i did not know it was actually velvet it is actually velvet so it's heavy which means you can easily pair it um with pieces for fall i'm pulling around with how i want to style it exactly i'm gonna have fun with this um and i would love your ideas. I know some of you love giving me ideas on how to style pieces. So give me some ideas down below on how you would style this very vibrant kimono. The next two items or the next item is a set from Eloqui. This is another piece that was actually um, that I actually picked out again and it is a wide leg bottom and a wrap blazer top. Now, I picked this set up to wear together, but then when I got it, I felt like I didn't want to wear it together, so I only took the bottoms with me to New York for Fashion Week, and I'm glad I did because I feel like every other blogger had the same idea, okay? 
every other vlogger. Like everyone, if you follow your favorite bloggers during Fashion Week or during CurvyCon, I'm pretty sure you saw them in this two-piece set. I know Kelly Augustine, not Kelly Augustine. I know it's me, Kelly B, and I get dressed, had this um, set on. I know um, I Am Beauty Curve had this set. This was a favorite set, okay? And why? Because it's just an easy combination, you know? You can wear it as a one piece, tie this around, and just wear the top and the bottom, or you can layer, you know? I love this because although it's getting colder and this is more of like a pajama style sort of fabric, you can, t if you're planning on any type of vacation for fall and winter, you can definitely take this with you, wear the whole set for dinner, or, you know, during the day, you can wear the bottoms as cover-up with, like, your one-piece or your two-piece. You could do, like, a neon green bikini top with this. You could do, like, a gingham um, top with this because although it looks like just black and, um, sorry, green and white, it actually has black stripes in it as well. Um, it is, like I said, it is a pajama-style pant, so it... It's like stretchy elastic up top. Um, it has pockets for comfort. It's just like, I really love the fabric it's made out of. It's really like pajama, basically. But like a better quality, sort of less fragile type of fabric. So I really love that. And it, so the next item is going to be this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mustard chunky-ish cardigan this is also from mud cloth is made out of that popcorn material it has the whole full sleeve with the you know cuff around your um wrist and it's just an open cardigan it has pockets does it have pockets yep it has pockets in front it's literally the dream teacher cardigan um and i got this one in a 3xl i'm sorry i have not been telling you guys sizes um but anyway so i got this in a 3x and i just love how chunky and big and comfortable this cardigan is mustard looks popping on brown skin and so anytime i can get anything mustard i go for it so the next item is a pair of shoes and they are these snake skin flats. I have worn these flats so much since I got them. Um, what was I going to say? Um, if you're following me on Instagram, how many times am I going to say that in this video? Plug, plug, plug. Okay. If you're following me on Instagram, you recognize these flats because I share them with people and y'all love these because I, I saw how many swipe ups came from when I posted these flats. Um, again, animal print is huge for fall and winter. I'm obsessed with snakes print right now. And this is a faux snake print. And what I love about this is all of the colors in it. So it has like this orangey mustard color. It has this like um, dusty rose kind of like burgundy color. It also has tan in here and black in here. So that means I can pair it with so many pieces for fall. I've worn this to work work at least six times since I bought it. Um, and I absolutely love it. Okay, I sized up to a size 12 in these. If you have wide feet, I would say definitely size up at least a half size. And yeah, these were like super cheap by the way. These were like $25 on the like um on the US site. And on the UK site, they were like $18. Those who know, know what I mean. So the next item is a blazer. If you're following me on Instagram, you know that right now that I am just standing for blazers. I'm obsessed with blazers. I want blazers and all the colors and all the flavors they come, they come in, okay? So I picked up this blazer because it really reminded me of something that I'd seen on the Zara website. If Zara would carry my sides, I don't know how much money I would have left in my bank account. Um, I'm just not sure. But anyways, I saw a similar blazer on the Zara website and I love the idea of the blazer. So when I saw something like that on Forever 21, I was like, add to cart. And it is this tweed blazer. So a lot of us are familiar with like the um the more like cropped 
tweed blazer. The, this blazer, however, is more of a long lined tweed blazer. Um, this is from the Sans Suchi brand. Um, I think they're like, you know, Forever 21 now carries other brands on their website. So I think this is one of those sort of like concessions on the Forever 21 website. I got this in a 3X and it fits just a teensy bit, when I mean like teensy bit, just slightly snug on my upper arm. So I would definitely say if you were in between sizes to size up. I am not a 3X in tops. I am usually a 2X in tops in Forever 21. So a 3X was me going up like two sizes from like my normal non-junior size. Um, so yeah, definitely size up. If I'm wearing a 3X and I'm more of like a 16, 18 up top, then just bear that in mind. Quality wise, I would give it like a like a seven, six and a half, seven. It's not like the best quality. It also wasn't the cheapest either, but I think they were doing some kind of a sale or something like that. Um, and yeah, I plan on pairing this with, I had the idea to pair this with like, I have a t-shirt dress I can throw on with this, with some over the knee boots. That's the way I kind of, I love this, the idea of this blazer with over the knee boots. So my t-shirt dress, this blazer over the, knee, over the knee boots, or a leather skirt with over the knee boots. I just love that idea. You could also pair this with um, jeans, like black jeans, blue jeans. You could do leather trousers with these, with this as well. So I have ideas, okay, for this blazer. So the next item I just want to do an honorary mention is this gorgeous Levi's. I've always wanted a Levi's um, denim jacket and this one's actually sent to me by my friends at Arundel Mills. Arundel Mills is a Simon's Mall that is in the DMV area and I'm, I'm, I'm doing like a fall partnership with them. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up that the giveaway will be over but um, will be over but I know that there are going to be more giveaways to come especially since the holiday is coming so if you're not subscribed or not following me on Instagram you should so you don't miss out on these giveaways but again they sent me a Levi's a customized Levi's denim jacket on the back it says love in these pretty colors all right the last and final item in this haul woo, um, is a pair of over-the-knee boots I did a post on my blog on over-the-knee boots and I know the struggle when you have wide calves to find over-the-knee boots okay I can't remember that my exact measurements for my calves but I will put it in the description bar down below I think it's an 18 and a half but just make sure you confirm in the description bar below. Um, and I've got this affordable pair. I've been wanting a pointy toe pair of over the knee boots. I got these in a size 12. Did I get these in a size 12? Yeah, I got these in a size 12 from Shoe Dazzle. I also got these in brown, but I'm returning the brown because, because I am 5'7", these don't go far up enough up my leg as I would like. They also, because of that, tend to fall as I walk, even though it has like this little tie thing. I think they had great intentions by putting this tie thing, but they should have made it lace up so you could like tighten it as it went up your leg. As you can see, it kind of like bends like this. So when I walk, this part starts to fall. Anyways, the point is, my workarounds, I'm gonna pair this with suspender tights or I'm gonna pair this with leg warmers and so it'll make, it will look the way I want it to look because what I want is for it to be thigh high, okay? Kinda like the new Chanel boots that are all over Instagram right now. That's what I wanted. But anyways, um, so I'm just going to keep one just because it's not exactly ideal. If it was ideal, I would have kept both colors. Far, as far as quality, you get what you pay for. These are $40, I think. Maybe they're $50, I can't remember. From Shoe Dazzle. 
but I'm not disappointed with the quality for what I paid for it. So, and also for someone like me who has wide calves, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I'll keep this pair. All right guys, that is it for this fall collective haul. You know what, honestly, I'm like starting to think, I think I need to go back to just doing retailer specific hauls because those are so much shorter to do than these collective hauls okay they're so much shorter um but yeah that's it for this haul let me know what your top three items were from this haul so let's continue conversation down below um if you like this video share it with a friend don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed i don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses but it is this gorgeous ruffled